it's almost you can see the inside of everything that's formed there hi everyone i'm lynn from cavi central guinea pig rescue hi everyone we've got a little girl here today who came in with the health checks and we're now going to look at a lump that she has underneath her jaw so this little girl is very very young she's only about five months old she's not not old at all and the lump in actual fact we put her aside um, it seemed to be a lot larger in the day than what it is right now so i think she's actually busted it open which means that we don't need to do that so it feels way smaller because there was a very big abscess there if you have a look i can't see a lot of gunge or anything there typically when an abscess ruptures they clean it up and they do a really good job of that so i think she's actually ruptured i haven't even looked underneath there but we're about to do that but from what i felt today that's very very small by comparison so we're going to take a look just wrap her up i'm just going to put you there so we can have a look under your chin a little bit better um yeah first thing thank you I'm going to see what I can see down there. Let's take a look. See if she has ruptured it. There's a lot of goop that's been there. You can see all the wet areas. So she has. This is actually ruptured. While we've been doing, you can see all the gunge that's actually come out. So what we're going to do is clear that. Um, just clear that area. She does have another little lump in behind there. Before we do that, I'm just going to shave it back. Um, that's it. Oh, it's a little nip there. Bottom. Can I do this? Oh, good. Oh. Yeah. yeah, let's finish. Shave that. So. So we can see. You put your finger under her top part of her jaw. That's it there. I said, well, we're just gentle little girl. I'm just going to lay you back. Hold on. Mm. You're always a little bit protective of it. Yeah, okay. Just go back a bit. That's it. Okay, we go right. Right there. Yeah, don't push too hard on her. Mm -hmm. There's a real hole there where it's opened. It's all come out. That's it, little girl. You can actually see that. I'm just trying to clear this back. Good girl. See, it's a sizable hole. Yeah, there we go. That's what she's literally made this hole from. We can just put that back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Stuck with fur there. See, but you can see. Sorry, so they can get a visual on the middle. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Good girl. Okay. Just now. If you let go, Chantel, for a minute, just let go, let go, let go here, yep, let go, that's it, little girl, that's really dooly, that's a hole, yeah. it's a jolly deep hole, yes, yeah, so it's come rupturing out from right in the inside, okay, all we're going to do is clean that out, so she's ruptured it herself, there is, um, there's another lump back in behind, you can still feel a lump in behind mm. there. Well, I'll just keep an eye on her there for a second. I'll pop mm -hmm. these in. Underneath the jaw. Mm. Mm. See, I felt that. Mm. But she's had the infection come out now. 
So while we've been continuing with the adoption day, that's actually ruptured, which is good. We don't have to do it. Um, and she's done a pretty good job of cleaning it up and her mm. buddy and with her. So. Good girl. So this is it here. That's a really decent hole. It's almost like a hole. Can you see down there? It's like a mm. Mm, channel. Well, yeah, it's like it, an yeah. actual channel. Oh, little girl. Oh, Dilly, we just want to look at what you've got there, what you've done. Good girl. Look at that. It's almost, you can see the inside of everything that's formed there. You can see how it's been held in. All the tissue around is inflamed. So at this stage, all we're going to do is flush it. That's all we can do. Um, the, and get her, get that looked at a bit later. Let's see what happens here when we flush it. Oh, that is a decent hole. Hmm. It's not going through into the throat or anywhere else, but there is like down here. There's a real bulge still, which you know, consider the considering the um, amount of swelling that was there. That's it. Good deal. You know, it's a bit yucky, isn't it? decent hole but her body's made that so just flushing it out we're going to see how that heals and if this tissue goes down by itself which often you get swelling around an area of infection we find this with um, abscesses on the jaw and around the around other areas you often get tissue that's really inflamed and it looks like it's solid solid tissue but within a couple of days that all just falls back to normal because the infection has actually gone from the, the area so that's um yeah we're just going to keep an eye on it we're literally not going to do anything so this little girl she's done it all herself so that's it okay. so this little girl also has a lump underneath her jaw area but it's extremely different to the girl that we've just looked at. This particular area of matter, because we don't know exactly what it is yet, is nodular in shape and it's not round. We always find with abscesses um, that they're completely round because if you consider blowing up a balloon, of which abscesses are a little bit like that in the sense that they're growing rather fast and quickly, they expand on all sides hence they're round and cylindrical but if you think about this it isn't and the lumps are actually in different directions so to feel it I'm going to check again now because it has been also developing quickly but yeah this is completely this is completely abnormal we've got lumps here on the left here in the middle and here on one side so completely abnormal in the way that this is developing so this one, without a doubt, is something that we do not touch. We need to take to the vet and she needs to be um, looked at more closely. So they will most likely require an ultrasound. And they'll also aspirate the contents to see what sort of cell structures are in there, whether it's normal, not normal, and so forth. But... I don't know how much we'll see because she's a very hairy girl. But let's just take a little look. She's only young too. Um, yeah, we're not really going to see much. There's one lump between my thumb. It's this area here. Yeah, that's actually one lump. If I go down here further, if I go down further, down here, this is another big lump in this area. Completely separate. So there's a nodule here, nodule down here. There's another here, and there's another nodule over here. There's like four or five individual nodule points. The one in the back here is growing. It's largest of all of them.
but again it could be infection based around the others that are there so this little girl while she's very young at only five months of age this potentially could be something that is a something she has been born with it could be something that is growing slowly and becoming larger to the point when where it's now noticed so there's lots of different different aspects about it the thing that's not so great is that it's very solid in the way that it feels the the texture of it and the nodules so that is typical of more of a cancer or a tumor so perhaps not the best news for this little girl but hopefully it's not hopefully it's something that is um benign but it needs further investigation and it's an example of showing you and sharing with you things that we would touch things that we would not touch and uh, where we can help and where we need more information before we do anything okay take care everyone bye for now